would you do if you were able to talk to uh, Obama and you were able to tell President Obama what what can we do to upgrade all right, and increase the reliability and performance of our of our society? What would you tell him to do? Well, one is we need to get people focused on the skill aspect uh, all the way back to high school. And some high schools are doing that now. They're finally starting to transition over into technical colleges, getting them more engaged. Because everybody can't be a rocket scientist. Everybody can't be a scholar. So what is most of us going to do? You know, we're going we're to be dependent on, on the federal government to give us money? No. We need to have skills. We need to have knowledge. Learn that from the technical colleges. And that makes you prepared, prepares people for the industry. People that leave industry that, that because they lose their jobs. You know, we should be going out, and, and I've developed programs in the past, years ago, where when an industry shut down, we'd find another industry that needed people. We'd find a company. So Mr. Obama, I'd recommend he has a task force that, that would, would actually seek out major corporations that are going to lay off people, going to shut down plants, and say, let us talk to those people. And create a pathway that's, so they can right. be able to be upgraded or, or transitioned into those other opportunities. Find the other opportunity, the other companies that are going to hire people, and then train them to the skill level they need to as they transition over. Or find some industries that we know will always have, right. like energy. And, 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 and there are some out there that need people right now. They yeah. can't find people, but they can't find skilled people. That's yeah. the problem. Well, they'll find a, a good old a good old boy that's been self-taught, but they haven't anybody who's been formally trained that right. understands electric mechanical technicians. Right. Even Joe the plumber doesn't have a license. And a lot of companies so, they'll hire somebody too, and they'll they'll put them with someone that doesn't have the knowledge either. Yeah. And now you're just you're creating worse problems inside the plant, perpetuating it. That's right. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Uh, well, I, again, I appreciate your time. Uh, anything else you'd like to share? Uh, no, I, I appreciate your time, Joe. Always appreciate you, buddy. It's always a pleasure. Take care. <laughs> Have a great time.